Jolly Rancher Vodka. I chose this since it's March and St. Patrick's Day is also this week, but most of all, I'm celebrating my one year anniversary on YouTube. Yay! I would like to thank all my viewers all over the world for sharing, liking, and watching my videos, and I love feedback, positive or negative. I just want to thank all y'all so much. I also updated my intro to my channel, and I hope everyone likes it. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Now, let's get into my green apple vodka. What you're going to need for this recipe is whatever kind of vodka you like, but I love this veil vodka, the green apple too. And I'm using a 750 milliliter uh, bottle because I don't need a little one. I want a bigger bottle. I have some Jolly Ranchers, which I already went through and got the green apple ones out, but I'm going to have to unwrap them. So when I come back, we're going to be unwrapping, uh, unwrapping them. And I'm using this cherry just for a garnish, so that's optional. So when I come back, I'm going to have these already undone, and then I'm going to go to the next step. Okay, guys, now that we're back, I've already unwrapped all of the Jolly Ranchers, as you can see. For this size bottle, you would use 36 Jolly Ranchers. And if you were using the 250 milliliter bottle, you would only need 12, which is a much uh, smaller bottle. But I'm using this bottle because I'm not just drinking this by myself because I'm having guests. So the whole prep time for this particular drink is only 15 minutes, but it takes about 14 to 18 hours minimum. It's best overnight if you would uh, basically just be patient and wait for it because you're just waiting for the infusion to finish. And let me start by pouring my um, vodka in there because it's real simple. The hardest part is just waiting. Some people shake the small, smaller bottles up to try to make them dissolve faster. But when I use a smaller bottle, and I've tried to shake it up too with the smaller bottles, and I tried just letting it sit, I didn't notice it doing anything any faster. So with this bottle, of course, I will shake it up because I'm using so many Jolly Ranchers. Most people use a funnel but I will not be using a funnel. And I'm gonna try my best not to waste none of my good ass green apple vodka. Was that a drop? Okay, I'm gonna use it full. It's not quite full, but I'm finna start um, shaking it up some, and then I'll fill it up, fill it up the rest of the way. Cause see, there's so many in there, they stick. So I'm gonna shake it. And another thing too, if you're using a big bottle, so it can evenly go throughout the bottle, the Jolly Ranchers, you will have to prop it up on the side and then leave it like that for a while, then come back and prop it up on the other side. But I'm gonna shake it for a little bit and start to dissolve it. Now, since this is going to come be finished in 14 to 18 hours, which I'm going to leave it overnight. So when I come back, I'm going to be showing you the last step and showing you how it looks all the way dissolved. Plus, I'm going to continue to fill the bottle all the way up. And then um, I also want to tell you all one more thing. I would not put this in the freezer because I'm going to leave mine out. For the simple reason, um, if you put it in the freezer and it's not all the way dissolved, the Jolly Ranchers, then in the freezer, that's going to slow it down. So once mine dissolve all the way through, then I will put them in my freezer or my refrigerator or however you're going to serve it. So when I come back, uh, which will be probably tomorrow, we will show the last, the ending um, results. Guys, it's been overnight and as you can see, my Jolly Ranchers have mostly dissolved. So what I'm finna do now, cause I haven't put this in the refrigerator yet. So I'm finna mix up a drink just so you can see. And it smells just like Jolly Ranchers. Like this shit is so freaking good. And then I just normally top a little cherry off in there. So let me get the cherry out. I just drop one or two cherries in there for just a little extra. This is optional. 
And since this is a birthday drink for Nira, we just <laughs> making it up. So here's our ending result. Thanks for watching.